If you're going to read this book, you're going to be attracted to it because it is the story of Custer's last stand. And for reasons I'll talk about in just a minute, that's become one of the favorite stories in history in the United States. How that came to be is kind of interesting in and of itself. This book, though, is far more than just about Custer's last stand, the battle that took place, how he ended up in that situation, and uh, how he got his whole, uh, all of his members wiped out in that attack by the Indians. And it's, it's a story that is so often repeated when you read military history that everything went wrong regarding what Custer did. He refused to believe the facts. The scouting reports weren't good. When they were good, he said, no, that can't be true. There can't be this many Native Americans all in one place at one time. Why would they be here? Well, they were. And then he calls for troops and help, and the backups don't come, and they go the wrong way. It's just one problem after another that ultimately leads to the demise. But it's more than just that battle. It goes back to take a look at Custer's history. He, of course, made himself a name in the Civil War and the battles that he fought in. This was a guy who was looking for a fight. His name was going to be made by what he did in the military, so he was always ready to go to war and always ready to fight and couldn't wait to get out to the West to be involved in what was going on out there. The other part of the story is kind of interesting, and it's not dealt with in any depth here, which you might want to look at a little later, is that his wife, deeply in love with him during the time they were married, which was his entire life, she is the one who promoted her husband after his death. And it was because of the work she did and the promotion she did that really kept his name alive for so long and created this aura around Custer's last stand. Kind of interesting part of the book, had it not been for her, this story may never have been as big as it's become in history. It's a good book. It, it's a good read. It's factual. It's historically uh, to the point. And as I uh, noted in the writing, this was the book that was recommended by the guides who give tours there, what they thought was probably the best book regarding Custer's Last Stand. And the great pictures that we've put online for you, my buddy went out there, it's been one of his bucket list things, was to go and see the grave of Custer and where it happened. So he did, he took pictures, and we've shared some of those with you. Hope you enjoy it.